very much, Heidi, and thank you for welcoming the association to uh, Wolverhampton. Uh, my name is Martin Taylor, I'm chair of the Archives and Records Association, which is the lead membership organisation for all who work in and care about archives. I'm pleased to say that the association has come mob handed. Um, our president, Caroline Williams, <laughs> uh, Sam Connett, uh, one of our board members, uh, John Chambers, our executive director, and our head of public affairs, Marie Owens. Uh, and we are all very pleased uh, to be so involved. Uh, in all aspects of archive success and particularly in great volunteering success. We're here, as you know, to present the 2012 Annual Volunteering Award. The award is given by the ARA, working with the National Archives, Cumul, uh, the Welsh equivalent, and the Scottish Council on Archives. And uh, uh, as I said, uh, our friends from the National Archives are here. Now, previous winners of this award uh, have included Suffolk Record Office and the Manchester Chinese Archive. The award is, is something uh, that we and our partners take great pride in. The award recognises a piece of work undertaken within an institutional archive service in the UK and Ireland in which, in which volunteers play a substantial part. The winning project, taking account of our past, as you know, was about cataloguing the collection of Smith, Son and Wilkie, uh, Wolverhampton Chartered Accountants, uh, and the, the collection, which dates from 1863 to 1989, is a treasure trove of information about businesses and families who employed the firm to overlook their finances. The collection is so rich and so fascinating that you can only regret that it is one of the relatively few survivals of a business archive of this nature. It wouldn't it be wonderful if not every uh, not every accounts if it was within a common <laughs> uh, But some more uh, were, uh, were able to um, ensure that their archive uh, survived for the 19th and 20th centuries. But this is a volunteering award. The project shows what can be achieved when the perfect team comes together. Professional archivists with the skills and expertise to make decisions, lead and explain, and volunteers who are willing to give their time and their commitment to make something important happening. The word volunteering could not be more topical, of course. The nation owes its volunteers a huge debt, whether they are found in an Olympic park or in Wolverhampton City archives. If any of you saw today's independent, you may have read Mary Dijewski, uh, who was herself one of the 70,000 Olympic volunteers, uh, saying that volunteers in other good causes have been, as she puts it, beavering away with maximum dedication but minimal recognition. Now, our, uh, the National Archive Volunteering Award provides for our sector recognition for the hard work and commitment of the volunteers who add so much value to the delivery of all our services. The archive sector is very proud of its decades-long tradition of working with volunteers in a genuine partnership. Each year, a quarter of a million volunteering hours are given to the archive sector. Professional archivists can tap into the time and effort of intelligent, highly motivated volunteers. And in turn, those volunteers gain significant new skills from how to do basic conservation, how to research, how to share through old and new technology what they are finding out. Because of this partnership, in this case and in so many like it, the community, the nation and the world has access to a collection which has so far sat hidden, unsorted and unknown. Why did this project win the award and win so unanimously? Uh, my colleague Jeff Pitt, who was chair of the judges, said there was so much praise. This highly motivated and diverse group of volunteers, with expert guidance and encouragement from professional archivists, have brought to life what might have been thought of as a dull collection of papers. They have invested thousands of hours of work, used blogs, Twitter and Facebook to engage others and made a lasting contribution to the local history of the region. Before pausing only briefly to thank the judges of the 2012 for their work and to underline that their decision was unanimous. It gives me great pleasure to formally announce, therefore, uh, that the winner of the 2012 National Archive Volunteering Award is Wolverhampton City Archives and its volunteers. 
I would like to ask our president, uh, Caroline Williams, to present the award to Heidi McIntosh and to Kimberly Benoy. Funding is always critical to success, 
um, Archives and Records Association, we are incredibly grateful to you for presenting us with this award, but also with the National Archives um, cataloguing um, grants program, who actually paid for Kimberley and for the uh, materials, <laughs> and to the National Manuscripts Conservation Trust, who helped us with some of the conservation of the archive material. And finally, again, I'd like to thank the friends and the volunteers who participated in this project and who brought us all together this afternoon to celebrate this fantastic achievement, a national award for volunteering. Thank you very much.
um, and I'm hoping that the volunteers um, will be able to stay and add value to further projects at the archives, um, so be able to produce more wonderful things for the future.